uh, quite familiar with all the points that could be made here. One of which is uh, what happens when God pays to a visit. Uh, another one would be divine selection. There were two boats, the selected one. Another one would be uh, obedience to the word of God at their word. Another one would be uh, the benefit of total obedience. Because Jesus asked Peter to throw the nets, N E T S, that it threw only one. Maybe if he had thrown more than one net, the result, of course, would have been much more, and so on and so forth. All the beautiful lessons you have brought forth. One beautiful point that uh, somebody made is that uh, when Jesus is preaching, he doesn't want distraction. I hope uh, the television ones will take note of that that when you are covering a religious event, you kindly ignore anything that would distract attention uh, of the people who are listening. But the little bit I want to add is that uh, everything God does is for a purpose, including miracles. When God performs a miracle, it is for a purpose. I will mention some of the purposes of God in performing miracles. First of them, of course, would be to get glory. Uh, in Exodus chapter 15, from verse 1 to 21, Exodus 15, from verse 1 to 21, we saw the children of Israel praising God and that the crossing of the Red Sea. Uh, the miracle of the Red Sea brought about that very beautiful song in Exodus 15. So beautiful a song that the Bible says when we get to heaven, we'll be singing the song of Moses, that is a lantern that will be there forever. The second reason why God will perform a miracle will be to confirm his promises. He had made me a promise before to perform a miracle to confirm the promise. For example, in Joshua chapter 1, verse 1 to 8, Joshua 1 from verse 1 to 8, the Almighty God had promised Joshua that as he was with Moses, so will he be with Joshua. So in Joshua chapter 3, then, when the children of Israel got to Jordan, and they Almighty, world, Almighty God was about to perform the miracle of the crossing of Jordan. God said to Joshua in Joshua chapter 3, and you can read the story from verse 7 to 17. He said, This day I will show the people that as I was with Moses, so am I with you. We have promised. Now he wants to perform a miracle to confirm the promise. In other words, he opened the Red Sea for Moses. Now he's going to open Jordan for Joshua. But as we see clearly in this story, in the text of today, 
The purpose number three for which God will perform a miracle will be to get your attention. To get your attention. In Exodus chapter 3, from verse 1 to 6, Exodus 3, from verse 1 to 6, when the fire was burning the bush and the bush was not consumed, it got the attention of Moses. Moses said, I will turn aside and see this great sight. Why the bush is burning and the bush is not consumed. God wanted to get the attention of Moses. If you read Daniel chapter 3, from verse 1 to the end, Daniel 3, from verse 1 to the end, God wanted to get the attention of Nebuchadnezzar. That's why when he threw in Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the fairy furnace, uh, the boys came out completely unbound. The same king who has said, who is that girl who can deliver you out of my hand now say, there is no God like your God. I'm praying that God will be performing a miracle for you today. Amen. Amen. If only to get your attention. Amen. Amen. The fourth reason, of course, will be to activate your destiny. To activate your destiny. Because uh, Peter had mm -hmm. thought that he was sent to the world to teach. And he was well trained in the fishing industry. But on that day, when God got his attention, when he realized that he was a sinner, and he didn't deserve that miracle of God, that was his last day as a fisherman before Jesus resurrected. It was after the resurrection that he thought, yeah, oh, maybe I've missed my destiny, that he said, I go back fishing. But again, that fishing idea was interrupted. But it was that day that he came to know that he was to fish for men, not to fish for fish. In Exodus chapter 3, that we mentioned earlier on, Exodus 3, from verse 7 to 10, when that miracle of the burning bush attracted the attention of Moses, that was the day his destiny became activated, that he was going to be the deliverer of the children of Israel from Egypt. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, if we read it from verse 34 to 51, 1 Samuel 17, 34 to 51, you will see that even though David had the anointed king in 1 Samuel 16, it was the miracle of the killing of Goliath that really exposed him to Israel. That here is your Okay. Uh, many people live and die without knowing their purpose, without discovering their destiny. Many a times it takes a real miracle of God to get their attention and to activate their destiny. My prayer is that before this day is out, the Almighty God will perform a miracle for you. Amen. That will get your attention. Amen. And activate your destiny. Amen. Amen. Uh, if it are Kanuro, you saw a new power. I pull up a hand card. I get 13. I can't know you, but... And to go with a lot of money. Okay. Uh, 
So we are 